ninth of this year, 8th of the 9th, or 9th, just to clarify, Mr. Philipton was late in organising his bins to be collected. Therefore, his recycling bin had to be collected the week after. Now, I was suspicious. <laughs> Mrs. Granshaw dropped her shopping upon embarking on uh, getting into her house. Uh, I was I was not suspicious. I've got a date there, but I can't bother reading it out. I've only got five minutes. Right. <laughs> on the eve of the 16th, uh, 9th or 9th, Jerry the Milkman arrived at Mr. Quarry's house. He didn't leave until the following morning. <laughs> mm. right. and consequently, my four pints of skinny, skin, semi-skimmed milk arrived late. So I didn't drink the white substance in the bottle. Right. 18th for the 9th or 9th, nothing happened. Right. And now, around about two weeks ago, upon embarking on my journey to the post office, which I do every day, I discovered that my front garden was accompanied by several droppings of poo. I ruled out all the obvious candidates due to the nature and the size of the outlets of poo. This could not have been of the human variety. Not a horse, because my think no, they can shit. I don't know how I write a road out. Uh, neither a giraffe or a Loch Ness monster. It was indeed a fluffy pussy. Yes, Mrs. Binkley's, her grey pussy. I poisoned her cat, and as a result of it, it died of a very, very slow death. Uh, now, I'm not a cruel person, but I mean, if I was to shit in a cat's uh, tray, I'm sure it would try and kill me. Anyway, it's okay, fucking lives.